eh, huyu mungwana ndiye anasimamia mambo ya epra tumekubaliana na huyu mjamaa tuwe na bei ya chini ya hawa watu kucharge pikipiki zao na magari zao na ndio nimewaleta hapa kila mtu ajue kazi yake na afuate laini yake. Si ndio? Kwa sababu tukifanya hiyo kazi yote na tayari tumeweka katika finance bill. Ile tunangojea itoke kotini. So mnajua kuna wa... <laughs> mnajua kuna watu wengine wamekimbiza kotini. Ati wanapinga hiyo maneno yote. Mimi nashangaa wanataka tuwe na Kenya aina gani. Mambo matatu tukikamilisha hii, mambo matatu yatafanyika. Na mimi nataka munisikize vizuri. Kenya hatuwezi kuendelea kuwa ni inchi ya kuagiza vitu ambazo zinaweza kutengenezwa na vijana wetu hapa Kenya. Saizi tunaagiza simiti na simiti inaweza kutengenezwa Kenya. Tunaagiza steel. Na steel tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya. Imagine tunaagiza mpaka furniture. Eh? kitanda. Sijui meza. Sijui kiti. Kuna watu wanaenda kutuletea kutoka sijui Ulaya, sijui kutoka China, sijui kutoka wapi. Ati tunaagiza samaki. Eh? Ndiyo nimesema hizo vitu zote ikiwemo hii pikipiki. Hii pikipiki tumekubaliana number one kuna parts 14 kwa hii pikipiki. Tayari tumesema hizo haziwezi kuagizwa tena itakuwa inatengenezwa Kenya. Tukisonga songa ikifika mwaka ujao tunataka tena kuongeza zile parts kwa hii pikipiki kutoka 14 parts mpaka 30 parts ambazo zitakuwa zinatengenezwa Kenya Ndiyo tupate watu wengi kama Lilian ambaye alitoka university kuna eh, mrembo mwingine nilikutana naye hapo alitoka Tivet Eh, alitoka Tivet saa hizi anafanya kazi hapa. Hawa vijana wengi ambao wanatoka Tivet kila mwaka. Njia ya kupanga ajira yao ni kuwacha kuagiza vitu zinatoka nje zile zinaweza kutengeneza na vijana wetu hapa Kenya. Nyinyi mnataka tuendelee kuagiza vitu ambavyo tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya jameni? Si ndio? Na unajua matatizo ambayo tumekuwa naye ni kwamba sisi kama viongozi hatutaki kuamua ile mambo iko ngumu kwa sababu tunataka tu kupigiwa makofi kila wakati. Sasa ukipigiwa makofi na watu hawana kazi itakusaidia nini? Siheri upange kazi ya hawa watu ndio wakikupigia makofi at least wako na kitu kwa tumbo ama nini? Sijui kama naelewana. So tumekubaliana ya kwamba ajira lazima tupange Kenya. Na ndiyo nimeweka katika mpango yetu tupate ajira from manufacturing. Manufacturing kati yao ni ku manufacture easy parts. Ile pikipiki milioni moja na laki nane, 1.8 million pikipiki ambazo tuko nayo Kenya. In the next three to five years, tunataka tusibadilishe zote iwe ya ya kutumia steam. Na tutaitaji tuta, tuta, kupitia kwa hiyo mpango peke yake. Tutapata ajira ya vijana zaidi ya elfu mia moja. Bawa watafanya kazi kama vile wale wanafanya kazi hapa leo. In different parts ya jamhuri yetu ya Kenya. Vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba wakati tuna panua nafasi za ajira kupitia hii mpango ya e-mobility na tukibadilisha 
hatutakuwa tunatumia dola zetu ambazo tumepata kwa kuuza chai, kwa kuuza kahawa. Hatutakuwa tunatumia dola zetu atikwenda kuagiza mafuta. Sasa hii itakuwa inatua, ina, inatumia stima ambayo tuna generate hapa Olkaria. Si ndio? So mambo ya kwenda kununua petroli, sijui kununua sijui mafuta taa, sijui kununua wapi ama ni mafuta gani hii bodaboda inatumia petroli, si ndio? Badala ya kwenda kununua petroli, sisi tunatumia stima yetu ambayo tumetengeneza hapa nyumbani. Ni mnanielewa? Na ya muhimu zaidi. Hapo ndio nataka mjue ni vipi nataka kuweka milioni ine kila siku kwa mfuko ya wa Kenya. Pale ulikuwa unanunua stima, ulikuwa unanunua mafuta, petroli kwa hiyo pikipiki ambayo umekuwa ukitumia ni kati ya shilingi ine na sita. Sio ndio bei ya petroli kila siku kwa mtu ya kuendesha boda boda biashara. Sasa kucharge battery ili utumie for a whole day vile ile ungetumia shilingi sita sasa utatumia kati ya shilingi sitini na shilingi moja. kila siku sasa wewe hata kwa hesabu yako hata kama ujui hesabu sana kama ulikuwa unatumia shilingi sita sasa unatumia shilingi moja. faida umepata ni pesa ngapi si ni shilingi tano na ni kila siku hiyo ni pesa imeenda imeenda kwa mfuko yenye ingekuwa inaenda kwa petroli ama hii ya sababu mnataka tufanye namna gani <laughs> nilikuwa naona <laughs> nilikuwa naona mungu na mke <laughs> lakini kutojua alikuwa ana alikuwa anauliza nafikiri alikuwa kitale alikuwa anataka kwenda maandamano alikuwa akasema <laughs> alikuwa anasema sasa huyu hasla anatuambia ati atatuletea e, pikipiki inatumia stima sasa hii ya stima kweli mnaona hii ya stima itaenda ita, ita, itaweza hata kutembea kilomita kilomita moja mimi nataka nimwambie huyo jamaa aulize huyu mama Lilian si Lilian yuko hapa na anatumia hii pikipiki ya kutumia stima ya ananiambia Lilian na kicharge na mia moja anafanya biashara ya the whole day sasa huyo muti ya kitale tumepata majibu yake awache maandamano angoje pikipiki ya kutumia stima <laughs> Ama na magani. Yes. So, mimi nataka tukubaliane. Ya kwamba this is the direction we must go. Najua itachukua muda sisi eh, ku um, to manufacture. It may take a bit of time for us to manufacture and that is why I really want to encourage the management of Rome that you have our support before without you talking to us we have taken the steps that we have taken we are ready we are willing to discuss with you even further additional interventions that the government can do to make it easier for you to produce to make it cheaper for us to produce what we must sort out now which is something we are working on is to make sure that financing is also sorted out bado tuko na shida pale kwa vile ya kupata hii pikipiki na kulipa watu wengi wanalipa karibu mara mbili bei ya pikipiki pikipiki ya shilingi 1150 unaenda unalipa mpaka inafika 300000 si kweli sasa hapo ndio tunataka tujipange na mimi nataka niwaambie nimeshawaambia wizara and the peers is here wa industry huyu eh, anaitwa Mohana nishamwambia hawa jamaa wapange mimi nataka serikali iweze kuingilia kati ndio tupunguze gharama ya mambo ya financing ya kununua boda boda na zile eh, magari zingine so that we can make it easier and and better for citizens to own this equipment tunaelewana hiyo ndio mpango yetu na nimesema vile nilisema kule embu tarehe moja 
mwezi wa tisa ambaye imebaki sasa karibu siku sijui ngapi tutatangaza vizuri mpango yetu ya vile tutasaidiana na watu ya sekta ya boda boda na hata immobility in general and therefore i am truly truly happy to see what is going on in this facility and it is because we believe as a nation that with different types of intervention especially around tax we can make things a lot better the reason why this sector has has been having challenges is because we've been having the wrong policy interventions around tax and that is why you have heard me internationally talk about we need to change the financial architecture that we currently have that is not supportive of enterprises that lift the majority of people out of poverty and build the capacity of more businesses to be able to be able to drive our progress our prosperity our development and our economy there is a solid case for a relook on our global financing in, uh, architecture even as we look at our domestic uh, financial architecture you can see that just by intervening in a very small way we are able to bring down the cost of our e mobility infrastructure by between 16 and 20% just by adjusting taxes here and there it is the same reason why we are saying we need a tax infrastructure globally that is going to respond to climate change financing that we are all looking at uh, your management we here they were discussing with me about carbon trading because that's the next horizon of how to tap into resources that can help support industries like the e mobility here and i have committed to the management as i commit to the whole industry that we are finalizing the carbon trading uh, legislation uh, my good brother jalash here and team we will be is already in parliament we want you to expedite so that we can have a carbon trading infrastructure that will support uh, green industrialization including green manufacturing of items like the ones we have here so i am very happy this afternoon to be part of this uh, very important intervention uh, as i have said we have policy interventions in our finance bill specifically targeting e mobility our border border people specifically because they contribute almost a billion shillings to our economy every day and the policy interventions that we have put in the finance bill from zero rating all e bikes zero rating all our vat on uh, 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 motor vehicle spare parts removing taxes on charging equipment removing our taxes on uh, uh, battery and lithium and the whole manufacturing of um, uh, uh, gadgets and instruments and facilities that will be used for e mobility and making sure that we have a dedicated tariff energy tariff to support the whole industry is part of the interventions we are putting the finance bill to support this sector and to inject between 400 and 500 million shillings every day in the pockets of the people in the border border sector so it is very important that we all walk together uh, this journey so mimi nimefurahi sana sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo 
huyu mrembo anaitwa Lilian amesema hii pikipiki yake ame ako naye kwa loan na anasema kwa sababu sasa nimefika hii area nifanye kitu si ndio so vile nitafanya Lilian huyu mm, jalasha amesema yeye ndio mwenye kuandika majina nani <laughs> sasa bwana governor upange na hawa waheshimiwa so that we get 10 uh, people like Lilian so that Lilian asikue peke yake kubaliane na hawa waheshimiwa tupate watu kumi kama Lilian na boss utakuja kuchukua check kutoka kwangu wewe bwana mkubwa wewe unasema wewe ndio mtu ya pesa Nimeshukuru. Yeah. So utaniambia ni pesa ngapi? Hizo kumi nitakuandikia check check. Alafu hii Lilian sasa atakaa chonjo na wenzake. Nimeshukuru. Ndio. So uh, Lilian sasa utachunga ule jamaa. <laughs> Ndio. Unasema anaitwa nani? Eh? Eh, Nevin Kenudia. Huyo Nevin Kenudia sasa atakuwa na utakuwa na pesa ya kutosha. Sindio? So uh, mimi nataka niseme asante sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na tuko pamoja na tutasukuma nchi ya Kenya mbele pamoja. Asante. By 10% of the GDP on an annual basis. This is a unique opportunity for